has his own Megazord? Guys, be ready for anything. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 evil Zords on Power Rangers. This doesn't look good. Destroy the Power Rangers! For this list, we'll be looking at the best and fiercest giant fighting robots that have ever fought the Rangers. Since some of these diabolical droids are part of big plot points, beware of spoilers ahead. What was your favorite evil Zord? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Lothor Zord – Power Rangers Ninja Storm the final phase of Lothor's master plan has him pulling out all the stops with the very last weapon in his arsenal, the Lothor Zord. I think we found Lothor! Look! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this enormous and demonic centipede-like warrior has razor-sharp claws and devastating electrical attacks. Lothor has so much fun piloting this Zord that he even breaks the fourth wall to tell us so. This is the most fun of an old season! <laughs> it's the only force strong enough to open the Abyss of Evil, and although it gets destroyed in battle, it takes the Ranger's Megazord with it. As an added fun fact, the Lothor Zord is actually the final form of the season's main baddie, Tau Zant. It really is a multi-purpose beast. Number 19. Diva Zords – Power Rangers Turbo Using the technology stolen from the Rangers, Divatox creates her very own Diva Zords. What's the status of the Diva Zord? Oh, she sounds cranky! <laughs> it's nearly completed, but we're still working on one minor technical problem, your evilness. Well, fix it! Each one is a bruiser with its own special talent. While the Eagle Zord is able to fly, the Shark Zord is an ace at underwater combat, and the Cat Zord has fearsome claws. And united, they have enough firepower to blow the Ranger's weapons away. But their one glaring weakness is Divatox herself. She loses control of the Eagle Zord and has to retreat in the first round. And in the final battle, Divatox's insistence on pushing her titans too hard lets the rangers destroy them one by one. Since a Zord is only as good as its pilot, the bad Divatox should have really left it to the experts. Number 18. Hornator and Scorpatron – Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie When Ivan Ooze ruled the world 6,000 years ago, he started constructing his ultimate ooze-powered machines of evil, the Ectomorphicon Titans Hornator and Scorpatron. Once my lovely little Ectomorphicon machines are up and running, spreading ooze throughout the world, I shall annihilate Angel Grove, and then… The, the machines were buried when Ivan was first sealed away. Once he escaped, he brainwashed the parents of Angel Grove and made them dig up his twin robots so they could lay waste to the city. While their CGI is a bit dated today, the Titans still command a terrifying presence. They're both enormous insectoid-themed robots with powerful pincers and lasers. Even when Scorpatron was destroyed by the Falcon Zord, Hornator's power only grew when Ivan merged with it. <laughs> While they didn't last long, the ooze-filled creatures left big impressions. Number 17. Armada Megazord – Power Rangers Super Megaforce Fans all remember how whiny and annoying Prince Vicar was. But when he wanted to prove himself, he did so in a major way with the almighty Armada Megazord. As if you're the only ones with this technology? With this almighty weapon, nothing can stand but 
Envy me in my triumph. This massive and sleek robot was incredibly agile. He was so quick that he was able to dodge every hit the rangers threw. Additionally, it could hit back in a major way with a barrage of arrows and the devastating Armada Galactic Strike Attack. It powered through every Zord the rangers had and looked like it would come out on top. Unfortunately for Vekar, the rangers unlocked their ultimate legendary Megazord combination just in time. They were able to rid the universe of both the obnoxious, entitled Prince and his awesome Zord. Number 16. Giga Drones – Power Rangers Beast Morphers Scrozzle may be a coward, but he has plenty of useful toys. His biggest contributions to Evox's evil campaign were the enormous Giga Drones he stored under the base. Here we go! These gigantic Zords were created by the data from Robotron monsters and powered by Stolen Morph X. Thanks to their creator, they come in many different forms with twice as many devastating gizmos. Some Giga Drones can even deploy smaller robots called Gigatronics to give the bad guys an unfair advantage. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of Morph X to power a Giga Drone, and Scrozzle doesn't always have access to enough needed to power his fighting machines. Fortunately, Evox didn't need any Morph X when he created his own Zord, the monstrous Chimera Zord. Moment. Number 15. Robots of the Week Power Rangers SPD Here's where the real fun starts. With the Power Rangers acting as law enforcers in the not-too-distant future, alien criminals need an extra leg up to take them on. For this season, the majority of them fight back with giant robots of their own. Provided by Broodwing, these droids come in all shapes and sizes, with plenty of gadgets to boot, giving the monsters a chance to be in the driver's seat of a Zord for a change. Usually they cost a pretty penny, but Emperor Grum will typically force Broodwing to hand out robots for free, much to the dealer's chagrin. Considering how the rangers easily beat them back, they're probably a waste of money anyway. Tiago Delapu! You may have them, but you'll never catch me. Number 14. Nemesis Beast – Power Rangers Dino Fury Trying to fight one Sporex beast was hard enough for the rangers, but when Void Queen merged them all together, they formed the ultimate instrument of her vengeance, the Nemesis Beast. Behold, the Nemesis Beast! <laughs> With Void Queen handling the controls, this titan was practically invincible. It was able to summon a barrage of lasers and explosions at will. When the rangers put their entire fleet of zords up against it, their robots were swatted away like they were nothing. Free strike! Board now. Ha! The only way to end the Nemesis's terror for good was for Zato to make the ultimate heroic sacrifice. While Zato was later revived, Thankfully, the same cannot be said for the intimidating Nemesis Beast. Number 13. Doomtron – Power Rangers Time Force With no more mutant criminals left to call on, Rancic unleashes the ultimate doomsday device, the Doomtron. Let's show our master what destruction you're capable of. Piloted by a brainwashed Frax, this devastating warrior easily held its own against the ferocious Q-Rex and had enough firepower to decimate the entire city. Its overwhelming strength came from a specialized crystal whose value wouldn't be discovered for a long time. Since it had the same power source as the Q-Rex, a battle between them risked tearing apart the very fabric of space-time. This could have been the most destructive Zord of all time if the Rangers had not ended its reign of destruction. Number 12. Stratoforce and Centaurus Megazords and Zenith Carrier Zord – Power Rangers Lost Galaxy When the treacherous Deviat first arrived in the show, he brought three powerful and destructive war zords with him. Stratoforce! Centaurus! Arise! Whoa. 
they were all powerful and vicious fighters. And to make matters worse, the Galacta Beasts wouldn't fight back. It turns out that these three were actually a trio of lost Galacta Beasts Deviat found and turned into his slaves. As a result, the Rangers' Zords refused to hurt their old friends. The story and mythos surrounding these twisted robots made every one of their battles more compelling. Thankfully, the Rangers were able to break through. All three evil Zords eventually became forces for good. What are you waiting for? Attack! What's going on? Number 11. Gravezord – Sabin's Go-Go Power Rangers When the Ranger Slayer, an alternate Kimberly brainwashed by Lord Draken, arrives in the Prime Universe, she brings along her own Megazord, the Gravezord. Made from the remains of the fallen Thunderzords from her world, this devastating warrior is ruthless in combat, easily stampeding through the Dinozords. The Zord can also be controlled by an AI, allowing the Slayer to move freely to accomplish her goals. Only when Draken's hypnosis is broken can the Rangers knock the Gravezord down. But before the Slayer takes her leave, she loans the Gravezord to the Rangers as backup, allowing the two Megazords to combine into the Mega Gravezord. Number 10. Zelzord – Power Rangers Dino Thunder In one last effort to destroy the Power Rangers, Zell tracks attacked Reefside with his personal Zord the Zelzord. Along with a spacious interior, this sage-like robot came equipped with enough firepower to level an entire mountain, and an energy lasso to whip the Megazords around like toys. Which technically they are, but whatever. Even after Zeltrax was destroyed, the Zelzord continued to squash the Rangers, and even the combined effort of the entire Dinozord fleet wasn't enough to finish it off. You gotta sacrifice the Zords! We can't! No, Dr. Oliver! Tragically, the only way for our heroes to finally put an end to this Titan's rampage was to get in close and sacrifice the Dinozords. <laughs> Number 9. Metallosaurus – Power Rangers Turbo When Divatox's nefarious brother General Havoc comes to visit, he brings with him Metallosaurus, a brutal dinosaur-like zord. Along with its vicious strikes, this dino can easily counter the Turbo Megazord's finishing move, shoot deadly eye lasers, and use its enormous tail to ensnare and overload its opponent. Now to get rid of your pesky piece of mega junk once and for all! <laughs> While it successfully captured the Turbo Megazord, the new rescue zords eventually overpowered it, only for Metallosaurus to make a comeback with upgrades borrowed from its captive Megazord. Even with its new upgrades, however, including a chest cannon, Metallosaurus was no match for the new rescue Megazord. This is not possible! Before departing, General Havoc vowed to return with a new Metallosaurus, but we never did see him keep that promise. Never fear, I shall return, and when I do, I'll have a new Metallosaurus. Number 8. Foxatron – Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel What is that thing? It's mechanical! Using her Foxbot foot soldiers and four galactic ninja medallions, Madame Odious was able to create her own personal Zord the Foxatron. Powered by the medallions, this oversized kitsune has near-unmatched power, including energy shields for extra protection, fox-shaped drones for increased firepower, and a mighty blade to cut the rangers down to size. Fox Blade Slash! It managed to blow apart the rangers' megazords and even disable the zords, but it needed to recharge for 24 hours before it could finish the job. No! We're coming for you! Ninja Blaze! Star Blitz! Unfortunately for Odious, even her unstoppable machine was no match for the ranger's new Ninja Blaze Megazord, the crushing defeat leaving a literal scar. It's just a scratch! Curse those rangers! How did they get those new zords? Number 7. Dark Predazord – Power Rangers Wild Force Before the curse was broken, Zen Aku was in possession of three Dark Wild Zords – the Wolf, Hammerhead Shark, and Alligator. Individually, they're ruthless, but together, they combine into a vicious Megazord – the Predazord. <gasps> Whoa! I can't believe my eyes! 
this hunter easily walked through the rangers with its weapons and predator wave attack, and its power only grew when combined with the zords that Zen Aku stole. Now I will use your own zords to destroy you! It turns out that these dark zords were the key to Zen Aku's curse, and when the Predazord was finally defeated, both it and Merrick were free from this influence. Merrick became the Lunar Wolf Ranger, and Predazord became a much needed asset to the Ranger team. Number 6. Dino Stegazord – Power Rangers Dino Thunder When Trent was the evil White Ranger, he hatched his Dragozord and hijacked the Ranger's Stegazord. Together, they formed the vicious Jurassic Juggernaut known as the Dino Stegazord. He stole the Stego! What? Whoa! Not bad for a new guy, eh? It is absolutely ferocious on its own. Armed with an invincible laser and its trademark stinger, it really gave the rangers tons of trouble. And Trent could really raise the stakes by stealing more of the rangers' zords to build its arsenal up even more. Our zords! They switched teams! Not a trick. I thought they'd make a nice addition to my collection. When Trent defected to the good guys, his beastly titan surprisingly didn't go with him right away. It stayed with the forces of evil and was piloted by Trent's evil clone, but it eventually broke away and joined the rangers to redeem itself for its misdeeds. Number 5. Dragonzord – Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Tommy's Dragonzord is undeniably one of the most iconic zords in the franchise. But when it first appeared, it was an unstoppable wrecking machine that laid waste to all of Angel Grove. Behold, the mighty Dragonzord! As long as Tommy was evil, so was the Dragonzord. But when the spell over its master was broken, the titanic lizard became a dependable ally. However, this wasn't the only time the Dragonzord turned evil. Every now and then, the mechanized monster fell back into evil's hands due to a spell or because a villain got a hold of the dragon dagger. Its ability to be either a fierce ally or titanic threat made every single one of its appearances exciting. Number 4. Cyclopsis – Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Goldar's driving Cyclopsis! Piloted by Goldar, Cyclopsis is one of the deadliest foes of Season 1 and one of the very first evil zords of the franchise. Along with being incredibly strong, it's armed with a generous amount of firearms and energy attacks, as well as telekinetic abilities, allowing it to literally toss its enemies about. <laughs> Worst of all, if you can blow it apart, it can apparently be revived, twice as powerful and with blades that can slice any Megazord into pieces. However, Cyclopsis has one major weakness. It adjusts to whatever Zord is battling, and too many changes causes it to freeze up, leaving it wide open to be put down for good. Overload, overload, too many changes, system locked. No, I don't believe it! Number 3. Black Dragon – Boom Studios' Mighty Morphin Power Rangers after a heated argument, the rangers accidentally opened a portal that pulled a new threat into their world, a mechanical monstrosity named the Black Dragon. This beast was a zord-like machine controlled by Lord Draken from his dimension, acting as his vessel into the Prime World. Along with effortlessly walking through the rangers, the Black Dragon could drain their powers, alter its size at will, and even reprogram the ranger's zords to do as it commands. Earth was at it and Rita's mercy, until Tommy and Billy shut the dragon down from the inside. Ironically, its husk was recycled by the rangers to use as battle armor against its creator, Lord Draken himself. Number 2. Centaurus Wolf Megazord – Power Rangers Mystic Force Centaurus Wolf Megazord The Mystic Force rangers got to experience the thrill of being the zords rather than just piloting them. Unfortunately, Korag the Night Wolf got the same luxury. By joining together with the wild horse, Catastros, Korag could morph in either the sturdy, unstoppable Centaur Megazord or the fierce, empowered Centaurus Wolf Megazord. Rise, Morticon! Rise! Armed with the power of the Master, this titanic warlock possessed a mighty glaive and a seemingly endless supply of dark magic. Only a select few can tame Catastros' wild spirit, but he remained loyal to Korag until their final battle together. 
Afterwards, Korag returned to the light side as Leanbo, and Katastros was never seen again. Carry on the fight, Rangers! I'm proud of you! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Serpentera, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Power Rangers Wild Force. What was that? A mosquito? Ah, you're wasting your time, Red Ranger! Serpentera was Lord Zed's personal Zord, and the largest Zord of all time. Along with being able to crush literally anything in its path, this massive dragon was armed with deadly energy blasts that could obliterate an entire planet if Zed desired. Unfortunately, its towering appearance and fatal attacks couldn't compensate for its major design flaw. It was basically a gas guzzler, and lost power too often. Oh God, I said turn off the lights in Angel Grove, not in here! Years after its last getaway in Zeo, Serpentera was found buried on the moon's surface by remnants of the Machine Empire, but it somehow shrunk in size. Reducing its stature was a fatal mistake, however, as it only took one lone Red Ranger to finally slay this legendary titan. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.